What's up, everyone? I'm Lala. This is Flavors of New York, and this is Joe De Stefano. Hello, dude. You always Saudi cup. Saudi ka. You always bring me to the best Thai restaurants. So I'm hoping that today is no exception. We're in Hell's Kitchen, yes. We are in Hell's Kitchen, yes. And the name of the restaurant is Vala Table. Cool. And apparently, Chuck Vala, the mm -hmm. chef owner, has a story to tell. Yes, he does. And food from all over Thailand to eat. Oh my god, let's go let's eat it, it then! here with chef Chuck Valla. Chef, thank you for having us. This spread looks insane. And Joe, you were saying something about how it's like a big deal in Thailand for, what were you telling me about a chef to put? No, so, so, what, what, so uh, Chuck has been my friend for uh, quite a while. Yeah. Um, full disclosure, Chuck is actually a PR client of mine, but I don't work with people who I don't believe in. So uh, what I was saying early is that, you know, the restaurant is called Valla Table. And there are a lot of Thai restaurants in uh, this part of town and really, with the exception of Wan Di Siam, which has been around a long time, um, Vala Table is the only place for the, the chef to put his name on the restaurant. So this is the, uh, this is the Danielle of Thai yes! restaurants. <laughs> totally. Is that, so is that a rare thing in Thailand as well? Well, I mean, people do, but then like in America, definitely like really rare. Yeah, like, you know, it is actually. You kind of put like the reputation of your family you on know. the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if your grandmother find out later that you do something wrong about her recipe, you know? That's a lot <laughs> to live up to. Yeah. So you're originally from Northern Thailand, I heard? Uh, yeah, from Chiang Northern Chiang Mai Thailand. or where? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ch Chiang Mai is one of my favorite places. Oh, you've been there. In this earth, I'm obsessed with it. Oh. So tell us a little bit about the food in the North, how, is it, how it uh, differs from the rest of Thailand. Um, so the food from Northern Thailand is mostly focused on um, herbs that we use. You know, we use like a lot of like herbs and uh, the taste of the Northern food is more like, um, it's not too spicy, but it's really fragrant. You know, like we use a lot of um, lemongrass, we use a lot of the, um, um, turmeric, we, there's so many herbs that we use, you know, to like aroma the dish. Yeah. And also we actually got so much like influence uh, by the southern China, which is I like, have like so many ingredients you only find in northern part of Thailand. Okay, mm -hmm. so just bright and fresh and herby and fragrant and exactly. everything that gets me excited. So let's start with the sausages here. So um, there's a name in Thai called Sai Ua which is like, um, it's mean um, you stuff, you know, it's been stuff, basically. Um, size means intestine, so mm -hmm. it's like a stuffed intestine. Mm -hmm. So um, this one, it's my grandmother recipe. So if I only think about the recipe passed down to me, it's probably more than um, 40 years. This dish in particular, it's always remind me of the memory of me sitting next to her, helping her cry the chili pears, helping her like, you know, put like um, the coconut shell on the stove so we can, you know, grill the sausages. So there was a time that I went back to Thailand and told my family about, um, so now I have this sausage at my restaurant in, you know, New York City. This one here, uh, so this one is called, uh, we call Miang Salmon. Miang is uh, the way that you make the leather wraps in Thailand. So what we have here, I uh, crispy fry the salmon and then you will have the, um, the lettuce. You put everything, a little bit of everything on the leaf with three different kinds of sauce that we have here. We have like a sweet sauce with the um, grappiness. We have homemade spicy sauce and we have homemade mild sauce here. So you come from a family yes. of chefs. Your mom is a chef, your grandmother is a chef. Yeah. Joe, have some sausage. Mm -hmm. So that's, when did you know you wanted to cook for a living? Uh, so 
So I didn't actually know, but I always that like I didn't actually know exactly that I want to be a chef like my family because you know like in Thailand they push you away from the kitchen, right? Because they don't want you to actually like uh, doing the same thing because you know it's hard work in the kitchen. But then they just they just kind of like you know help me alongside with them because you know that's how they like they, because they don't have time. So at the same at the same time they want to take care of the kid, so they have the you next to them. In the kitchen, kind of like you know, like helping around or doing yeah. this and that, you know. So um, I didn't actually know until like when I moved away and like living by myself. I tried to cook for my friends, and I found joy in it. Oh, I found like goodness. every time I cook, it remind me of like this is how like I sit in the kitchen with my family. It remind me of like you know, like when I pick the basil. This is like when my mom asks me like, hey, you do this and that in the kitchen. So well. I am finding extreme joy in this sausage. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's Thank very you. Aromatic. Oh Thank my you. God. Have you, you tried having a cook cashew nut? <laughs> that is so good. The lemongrass comes through. Ginger. Yeah. Uh, this is actually uh, galangal. Galangal, which yeah. is similar Timeric. to ginger. Yes, exactly. Turmeric. There's some chilies in there. Yes, yes, yes. And the crispiness on the outside. Holy Lord. <laughs> Thank Bury you so me much. in that sausage. And Chuck, your, your grandfather was a butcher, right? Yeah, my grandfather was the butcher. So that's how I actually learned about which part of the pig is actually delicious or good, you know, because like uh, my grandmother would get the meat from my grandfather. So she would show me which part, which part of the, the meat is actually really good. So I kind of know how to pick the ingredients from the family too. You know. You've had so much knowledge from such a young age. That's that's amazing. It's kind of like forced to do so because <laughs> you know, you, when you were young, you want to go play with your friends. Yeah. But instead, you have to be in the kitchen, and you know, like, like I still remember how I picked the lime from the street and, and from the market and get like the super juicy lime from my grandmother. Like she would show me how to pick the great lime. You know. And this is this is why your food is so good. You can tell that you have such a passion for it. What should we try next? So let's, here, give me your, let's try the popcorn. Oh, let's yeah. go. All right, all right. So you can tell it's familiar, but different, <laughs> right? Just, just give me the sauce. I love yes. a crab curry. Load yes. me up, Joe. And there's that whole chili on there. Some chili oil that appears. The chili Ooh. is pretty spicy. You do not have to eat. Do not <laughs> <laughs> like really spicy. <laughs> little crispy lotus root on yeah. the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take a Love lotus. that. A little chip of lotus. Mm. So this is very southern chop. Yeah, this one is very southern. I um, I grew up in the north, and then uh, I've been traveling all over Thailand because you know um, I moved from my school. Like I go to work in different parts, so. I found that Southern Cuisine is one of my favorites, so I always want to do something about it. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think? There are huge chunks of crab inside yes. the noodle. Yes. Outside the noodle, the curry itself has such a depth of flavor. Yes. I really like that you kind of have flipped this dish on its head, so instead of just like the noodles and the crab, you've made these cute little like purses of crab yes. pouches. And the skin part, the noodle, uh, we steam them fresh one by one. That's yeah. why you get the texture that's really warm, chewy, fresh. It's got great chew. Yeah. And it's the perfect consistency. It's definitely yeah. not it's too thick. It's such big. a delicate texture. Mm -hmm. like, Thank you. Sil silky. Thank it you really, so really is. Thank you. All of these chunks of crab that you're getting. He's not skimping on the, the good stuff, on the seafood in this. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Get in there and just like. Well, I mean, let's just talk about how beautiful that pork belly looks. The <laughs> rendering of the skin. Yeah. You can tell that it's or of the fat. It's gonna be nice and crispy. Yep. Noodles, bean sprouts, the peanuts. 
And you're right, sometimes pad thais tend to veer too much on the sweet side. Yeah. Thank you. Or too much on the sour side. So you were saying that your mom sort of created the perfect balance. I'm interested to see and to taste what's Thank gonna you. happen here. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Tempted as I, I, I'm tempted to start with pork, but I'm gonna start with pepper. I started oh, with the okay. pork. I couldn't. Mm, you heard that crunch? Yeah. <laughs> mm. That is beautiful. It's nice and balanced. Perfect pork. Yeah. Tamarind. Yeah. What else we got? That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a delicious sauce. Yes. It's perfect. And uh, the chewiness of the noodle is just perfect. Because, you know, pan thai can go like wrong with the um, how they saute the noodles. Sometimes mm -hmm. it gets too soggy. Oh, yeah, Sometimes it can become a blob. Like too, too chewy, soggy, too you know. Chewy. Yeah. Dry. But let me tell you, that pork is perfection. Thank you so much. Thank so, you. this one, so you would take one leaf and put a little bit of everything, and you. You can try three sauces together, but if you like to try just the sauce, like on each one, you can try like you're gonna try three bites actually. But then, yeah. So this one, we we make it mild, and um, the chili that we use, we didn't use Thai chili because all Thai chilies are you know, spicy. So I use Italian sweet pepper, and then the second one is the chili that we use here, which we have this um, lady who grown. Thai chili in Pennsylvania. So I will go pick up the chili from her every year. Wow. Yeah, so like this year, we used almost 400 pounds of chili from her. Wow. You are not messing around. No, 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 no. <laughs> I take everything seriously. And this one is like only five ingredients, all fresh chili, garlic, um, fish sauce, lamb juice, and um, the coconut sugar. Only five, and that's it. There's nothing else. There's no vinegar, nothing. Okay. And this one, sweet chili sauce with the crushed peanuts to get the texture when you mm. have the sauce. So please enjoy. So Joe, right. you said that this is a, a fairly typical Thai dish. But, yeah, no, but you're so, putting your own spin on it. Yeah. So not with salmon, you know. So um, yang come definitely, you know, either lettuce or more commonly uh, pepper basil leaves. Mm. Um, Certainly these red onions, this little like dried shrimp mm -hmm. and like palm sugar. Uh, but basically, you know, you customize. So here, build one. All right. This is, gonna this is fun. I'm going to build one too. Yeah. We've got the lettuce. And should we get noodles? Yes. I want, I'm a big sauce gal. Big, big sauce gal. Can, mm -hmm. I, can I noodle you? Uh, sure. So I want to try all the sauces. That's probably way too much noodles. Yeah. There we go, thank you. <laughs> Cashews? Yes. Some ginger? Ginger. Oh, love, love the raw red onion. Yes, and, this, yeah, and then the, the crispy. The lime. Oh, okay. Lime, lime, lime. No, you, you can eat the whole thing. The whole you, thing? You, you I love that. Yeah. Great, yes. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, I yep. got some crispy bits. And then mm -hmm. sauce. Okay, sauce. so. I'm gonna go for this middle one. Okay, that's pretty spicy. Good. I love spice. As I like to say, if my nose is not running, if I'm not crying, <laughs> then what am I even doing? <laughs> Great. I love that. <laughs> Give me the spice. <laughs> All right, try to enjoy. I mean, it's hard, but try to enjoy everything in one bite. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Don't miss out the cashew like mm -hmm. yourself. Now it gets a creaminess, a little sweet. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. The sauce is nice. It's, Thank you. Thanks. It's kind of like a Thai seafood sauce, yes? Yeah. It's a little bit. Like, yeah. I am not a delicate eater, so things falling out of my mouth <laughs> is absolutely typical. But you're right. Try and get everything in one bite. And let me tell you something, eating that lime with the zest on it mm -hmm. made all the difference. It yes. just brightened it up with citrus. Yeah. It does have a kick. Yeah. Wow. Chef, I'm so honored to be eating your food because 
you can tell that you're just, you're really wanting to make it different and not do the stereotypical Thai food and just bring something new to people, which I think is just so absolutely lovely. So, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. For and yeah, thank you awesome. for cooking this food. All right, so um, we just literally got our um, liquor license a few days ago. Ooh. And I'm still like, trying to work on our signature uh, cocktail. And this one is one of those that I didn't name it yet. But then if you'd like to name it for me. What? Yeah, that would be one. Yeah? Well, I'm tasting a ton of Thai basil in this. Yes. So it's we use very basil forward and I love that. Yeah, so I use Thai basil and I have the syrup that infused lemongrass overnight in this. And we use dry gin. Lord, yeah. there's so much basil in there. Call it the holy basil, but we have settled on something. Well, just horapan mean basil? Yeah, it's mean, mean basil. Yeah, mm. Thai basil. It's mean Thai basil. I love it. <laughs> I dub the <laughs> horapa. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. That's the great name. <laughs> Thank you. Fresh. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. I can't wait to come back and have a lovely meal, especially now that your cocktail program is getting developed and yes. any help I can be in drinking them um, will be would be great. I'll let you know my yes. my thoughts. So Chef Chuck Vala, thank you. Thank you. Joe, thank you. you're amazing. Thank you very much. Good to see you, Chuck. It's great to work with you. Can't wait to see what we do together. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for bringing me here. I love Absolutely. that I didn't know about you and now I know about you and now I can't wait to bring my friends here. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Lala, for Flavors of New York, we will catch you next time. Bye. Bye.